But there are also some... Oops. Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki. And today's video, I'm going to be sharing a pretty quick grocery haul. So we just ran to Walmart and got some things, but we're really trying to keep it kind of bare minimum because we're doing a lot of stuff around the house and we just don't need to be bringing a bunch of food in the house like we usually do. So we tried not to get too many new things. Of course, we still ended up getting some random stuff, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go through it now. If you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And let's get started with the produce. Today, I really needed to get a decent amount of produce. That was like the main reason that we ended up going. Like I said, we went to Walmart. So I usually have some good luck with their produce there. It's just kind of hit or miss. Like a few things today didn't look great. The mushrooms I didn't end up getting, but I did get some asparagus. So this will be good for just a side when I do pasta or something for dinner. I really like getting fresh asparagus like this because then it's always in the fridge and I just see it and I remember to use it as a side for a meal and to just get more veggies in. So I like to buy asparagus. That's always a really easy side dish. Same with zucchini. So I got a good amount of zucchini. I'm also going to use this for my veggie mix for the week with some peppers and onions, which I still have some onions in the fridge, but I did need some more bell peppers. So the orange ones didn't look great, but the red and yellow did. So I just got some red and yellow bell peppers again for veggie mix. I got some shredded lettuce. We usually use this for different things like burgers, chicken sandwiches, or just like lunch meat sandwiches. Adam packs for work also just like tacos or bowls. So we like to have shredded lettuce on hand. Another zero point option that we could just add to meals. I got some red grapes. So these I've just been having after breakfast, after lunches. They're a good sweet option. I always crave something sweet after I eat a meal that's like a normal meal. And so grapes have been really helpful, especially the red grapes. They are so sweet. Adam kind of prefers the green grapes because they're a little more sour. I just love the sweetness of the red ones. So I've been getting those a lot and they're one of my favorite things to also add to snack plates. We got some bananas for protein shakes and for Adam to take to work. Also, I've been kind of on a sugar snap pea kick. So I've been buying these a lot and just using them for different dishes. And that's just why I grabbed them. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for yet. I really have been enjoying them with sesame noodles, but I also have some other ideas in mind. So another zero point option that's filling. It's got a little protein and fiber in it as well. Then some blueberries for my yogurts. And then of course, some Honeycrisp apples for every single night after dinner, I eat a Honeycrisp apple for zero points. And actually the ones I had before from Sam's Club were super small. And then the ones after that, that I had gotten were massive. And it is crazy the difference in the amount of time it takes me to eat the apples when they're different sizes. I always try to find them more like this size, which this is like perfect. I like them medium to large, but Anyway, when I have the large ones, it takes me like 15 minutes, 20 minutes sometimes to eat the apples. But anyway, I just thought that was funny noticing the difference between how fast I would eat the small ones. But I eat one every night after dinner and that's just become a routine for me. Then moving on to some meat that I got. I got one pound of 99% lean ground turkey. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for yet, although it is warming up. So I think I'm gonna fire up the grill and maybe make some turkey burgers. Although actually I got two pounds of ground chicken. So I'll probably do chicken burgers because I like to do whatever meat I have two pounds of so that I can prep some extras to have in the fridge. So I'll probably do some chicken burgers. I just add some panko breadcrumbs, egg, and some seasoning to those and I'll grill them up outside. Then with this, I don't know what I will use it for, but with the 99% lean ground turkey, it's zero points on Weight Watchers. It's got 120 calories and 28 grams of protein, so it's really filling. So I like to make it as taco meat sometimes or meatballs, or sometimes I use it for different recipes like sesame noodles or stuff like that. But like I said, I'll figure out what I do with that pound of that. And then with the two pounds of ground chicken, I'll be making chicken burgers. Now the chicken isn't zero points because it's not just chicken breast. It is 8% lean. And so it's four points on Weight Watchers for the serving of four ounces. It's got 160 calories, nine grams of fat and 22 grams of protein for that serving. So still a good high protein option. It just has points because it's not just regular ground chicken breast, but it is nice to have for convenience as a high protein option. Then we needed some more turkey pepperoni. So I just like to buy the Hormel brand turkey pepperoni. It is two points for the serving of 17 slices, but a lot of times when I make pizzas and stuff, I just use a one point serving, which is like, I think 10 or 12 pepperonis, but it just depends on what I'm making. So for the serving that is two points and 17 slices, it's 70 calories, four grams of fat and nine grams of protein. I got some center cut bacon and I was actually happy because they had the bigger pack, which I like to get because I just like to prep it all at once. And then we have it in a container in the fridge and it's really easy to add to like, breakfast sandwiches or breakfast bowls or BLT wraps, or even if we make burgers and we just wanna throw a slice of bacon on there, it's really nice for that. So I got the big pack of the center cut 
It is 60 calories for two slices and two points on Weight Watchers. It's got four and a half grams of fat and five grams of protein for two. So like I said, I like to just prep it ahead of time and it's super convenient. But there are also some times that I use it for a recipe. So if I'm making like a pasta dish, I'll cut up some bacon and cook it first so that I can use the bacon grease to cook the veggies in or something. And usually that's really good, but usually I just cook it all ahead of time. We got some lunch meat and we decided to just get the uh, deli lunch meat that's in the front. They do like some pre-slices of the different types that they have. So today we got the oven roasted turkey breast, which is one point for the serving. I think all these are one point. Then we got peppered turkey breast and then the Cajun turkey breast. So we got all turkey. I meant to grab the buffalo chicken, but they didn't have any. But we got the three different types of turkey just for Adam to use on his sandwiches for lunch. And actually with how busy things have been going, I've been eating more sandwiches lately because they're so quick and easy to throw together. So I'll use some of this turkey lunch meat, usually one or two points worth. It adds a good amount of protein. Then I'll use some shredded lettuce and maybe some sauce, which also we realized that you can buy the Jersey Mike's cherry pepper relish now in a jar. So we have been buying that and then using that on sandwiches and it is so good. So that's been something we've been doing. And then I also like to add cheese to my sandwiches. So I like to get the thin slices that they have. Usually it's Sargento. Sometimes they have reduced fat, but they didn't have it today. So the thin slices work just as well. I got the provolone today and for the serving, of one slice, it's 40 calories and two points on Weight Watchers. You can have three slices, which is what it says the serving is. Three slices is 110 calories and it's five points on Weight Watchers. That serving's got nine grams of fat and eight grams of protein. And then in one slice, it's three grams of protein and three grams of fat. This is just a good option. I like the provolone. They also had the Colby Jack, but I decided to do provolone this time. And then for shredded cheese, I needed some mozzarella. And usually my favorite's from Trader Joe's, but I don't think I've ever seen this one. This just says shredded reduced fat mozzarella. And I don't know if I've gotten this from Walmart. Maybe I have, I always get them mixed up. But anyway, this one's three points for the serving as opposed to the Trader Joe's one, which is two points, which honestly not a big difference. It's not that big of a deal. The serving is for a quarter cup and it's 70 calories. It's got four grams of fat, three carbs and eight grams of protein. So three points for the serving is not bad. I use this for pizza, eggs, wraps, pasta dishes, anything like that. And sometimes I just don't use the full serving. I needed some yogurt, so I've got lots of yogurt here. First of all, we needed some plain non-fat Greek yogurt for two ingredient dough. So this is the Chobani brand. Every time we've gone to Walmart in the past like month, they have not had it because I've wanted to just run in and just grab this when we've gotten a couple other things and they have not had the Chobani fat-free, which is my favorite. So I haven't made two ingredient dough in a while and I've been craving it and I'm happy that they had this. It's a zero point option, but for the serving of three quarter cup, it's got 90 calories, six carbs, six grams of sugar, and 16 grams of protein. Okay, then for my yogurt bowls at night, my favorite yogurt is the Dan and Light and Fit Vanilla Greek Yogurt. It's two points for the serving that I usually use. Although when I buy the tub like this, it's a three point serving on here, but it's three quarter cup for 90 calories, 10 carbs, eight grams of sugar, and 14 grams of protein. But recently I've also tried this ratio protein yogurt, and this has 28 grams of protein in the two third cup serving, which is just crazy. And I also really, really like the flavor of it. It's a little unique with the texture. I always look like I have a bowl of mayonnaise, but I mix these two together. So I do like a half serving of each or I'll like total out a two point serving using these two and just mix them together so I can get just a little extra protein in the flavor and everything of this one because I really do like it. But then also my favorite, this one's much like lighter and almost like waterier, but it's not watery. It just compared to this one is much thicker. So anyway, that's what I've been doing lately with my yogurt bowls and I've really been enjoying this ratio protein, but of course I love the regular Dan and Lighten Fit as well. So that's what I do for my yogurt bowls every night. Okay, I like how I say that we're trying to not buy too much and then we buy a bunch of like sauces and stuff, but we were out of toasted sesame oil, which is my favorite oil to use cooking. Whenever I make any type of like Asian inspired dishes, I love this stuff. So for stir fry, sesame noodles, anything like that, it is just toasted sesame oil. I don't usually use the full tablespoon. Usually I'll just see what I need for the recipe, but it just has such great flavor. Okay, then I got my favorite barbecue sauce. Today I just went with the original. Sometimes I get like the sweet and spicy or the sweet and smoky, I think it is. But today I went with original. It's the Sweet Baby Ray's No Sugar Added Barbecue. It's zero points on Weight Watchers. It's got 15 calories for two tablespoons, four carbs, one gram of sugar, and one gram of protein. So that's just a good option whenever I do any like barbecue chicken or burgers or anything that I want barbecue sauce with, I use that. Sometimes I like to mix Bolt House Ranch and that barbecue to make like a barbecue ranch and it is so good even with just like fries and chicken. 
This is Adam's favorite ketchup lately, so it is the Melinda's Jalapeno Ketchup. It's one point for the serving of a tablespoon and 20 calories. It's got five carbs and four grams of sugar, and it's got a little bit of a kick to it, but nothing too crazy. So he likes that one a lot. He also found this new Melinda's sauce, which I convinced him to get, even though I think it is three points for two tablespoons, but again, he doesn't need to use two tablespoons, or I don't know if I'll be able to eat this, probably not, but maybe he'll just put like a little bit on sandwiches or stuff or with chicken. He could also just mix a little with the Bolt House Ranch as well, because he usually uses the Bolt House and then he tries to make it a little spicier or whatever, adding stuff. So anyway, this is a Melinda sauce. It is the Ghost Pepper Buffalo Ranch Dipping Sauce. It's definitely gonna be spicy. It's got all the flames on there. So I think this was one of the spiciest ones they had. It's 70 calories for two tablespoons. Like I said, three points. It's got seven grams of fat and one carb. So we're gonna have to test this out. Maybe we'll save it for a snack review or something, but I'm curious to see what he thinks about it. I have a feeling he's gonna love it though. Okay, then we just needed some soy sauce. So whenever I buy soy sauce, I just get the low sodium. It's zero points and I just use it for a bunch of different meals. And then I always get questions about the nonstick cooking sprays that I use. And one of my favorites other than like olive oil is ghee spray. So I always just buy this when I go to Walmart. That's pretty much the only place I've really seen it, I feel like. It just has a good buttery flavor and it works well for using it on popcorn, using it on eggs and just whatever I need to cook stuff in a pan. So it usually depends on what I'm cooking, which spray I'll use. I try to use this one less because I go through it quickly and I just don't want to use it all up. So if I can use like the olive oil for other things, I usually do that just because I buy the big pack at Sam's Club, but I really do like that ghee spray. Even when I make us like garlic bread or toast, I'll just spray a little bit on there and it adds the perfect buttery flavor, but not like a bunch of extra calories and points. Okay, then we needed some taco seasoning. So I just always buy the Taco Bell mild taco packets. I use these with the ground meat like I showed. So the ground turkey, ground chicken, and then that's how we make Taco Bell at home, especially with like the shredded lettuce and the different sauces that you can buy from Taco Bell. We really do feel like we're just having fresh Taco Bell at home, so that's why I like to buy these taco seasoning packets. Okay, I just dropped the Fair Life on the floor, so whoops, I just dented it. That's sad. <laughs> but anyway, I got this for protein shakes. It's two points for the serving of a cup, but I usually don't use a full cup. I usually do three quarter cup for one point, but for that serving, it's 80 calories, six carbs, six grams of sugar, and 13 grams of protein. And this is the fat free. So they do have another blue one that's like the 2%, which honestly, I don't think it's that much higher in points. I just like to use this one for protein shakes. If I'm going to be making a creamy, I usually get the 2% or the chocolate milk that they have. Then Adam needed some cold brew. This is zero points and it's just the unsweet black coffee. It's 15 calories for 12 ounces and three carbs. And he usually likes to add, sometimes he'll do like a little milk, but skinny syrup or creamer, or if we have protein shakes, he likes to make it into like a protein coffee sometimes. That's what he gets that for. I got some eggs just for breakfast. I like to do scrambled eggs a lot or sometimes over easy or like breakfast sandwiches. So I really like to get these pasture raised ones. I feel like they just taste so much better honestly than the regular ones. And that's something that I just like to splurge a little bit on at the store or I've been getting them at the farmer's market and they've been really good. But I like the pasture raised from Vital Farms like this. I got one box of this Protein Plus Penne Pasta. This is my favorite pasta to use. It's 190 calories for two ounces. It's got a gram of fat, 38 carbs, five grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and 10 grams of protein. So it's got a good amount of fiber and protein in it. And I just like that it tastes just like normal pasta to me. For a very long time, we were only eating bonza pasta, which I do like bonza and we get it every once in a while now. But since we've switched over to the Barilla Protein Plus, honestly, that's just become our favorite. We have a few others that we like, like carbonata and stuff, but I just really love the protein plus. I get that every time and that's what I use for all different pasta dishes. Usually with the penne I like to use it with like a red sauce and then some veggies and maybe like meatballs or sausage. Adam needed some more breakfast sandwiches so he just likes to get these Jimmy Dean delights. Honestly I should be prepping him some sandwiches and we can be doing that again but right now it's just been so crazy hectic and just busy that it's been easy to just get stuff like this for convenience. So these are just the English muffin sandwiches. It's eight points for one, 270 calories. They have eight grams of fat, 31 carbs, two grams of fiber, and 18 grams of protein, and eight points. And this is the turkey sausage, egg white, and cheese sandwiches. I needed some protein shakes, so I like that Walmart has these. They didn't used to, and now they carry the Quest salted caramel protein shakes. It comes in a four pack, and I just use one of these when I make a protein coffee. For one of them, it's three points on Weight Watchers. I know sometimes people like to use them even as just like a creamer, which a third of this really would add a lot of flavor to your coffee. So for a point, I think it's definitely worth it, but three points for one, it's 170 calories, three grams of fat, 
three carbs, one gram of sugar, and 13 grams of protein. Okay, this is something I just spotted as we were walking through an aisle and I saw that they were on sale. I have been waiting for these to pop back up on Amazon and I haven't seen them. They are the Blake's seed-based strawberry crispy treats. So I've shared these a lot, the different flavors. They've got like birthday cake, chocolate chip, and plain. And usually I buy that variety box, but one time we got the strawberry ones to try and we really liked them. And I usually don't like the flavor of like artificial strawberry, but these are really good. So they're pretty much crispy treats with vegan marshmallows, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, and strawberry. So they're allergy friendly, nut free, vegan, and gluten free. And they just have good flavor. I like to have them before the gym sometimes, or it's just like a little dessert. For one of them, it's four points on Weight Watchers. It's got 90 calories, three grams of fat, 16 carbs, one gram of fiber, eight grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. It really is a good like quick snack option and like I said I just like the sweetness and the flavor of the strawberry ones and they were on sale for two bucks a box so I grabbed the last two then we needed another bag of Love Crunch, which this is our favorite. It is the dark chocolate peanut butter. I've actually been using Love Crunch more on my yogurt bowls randomly, but sometimes I'll just have it as like a plain snack because it's so good. It's got little dark chocolate chunks in it, and then it's just big chunks of granola, and there are some peanuts in there as well. But for the serving of a quarter cup, it's four points on Weight Watchers. It's got 150 calories, five grams of fat, 18 carbs, two grams of fiber, six grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. I hadn't seen just the plain sesame flavor of these, so I really like these good thins. And I always just kind of want like a plain flavor of them for like snack plates or if I make tuna or something, because they do have a lot of different flavored ones. But when I saw they had sesame, I wanted to grab these to try because I really like different like sesame crisps like this. I'm hoping they're kind of just like the Trader Joe's ones that I really like. But for the serving of 19 pieces, it's four points on Weight Watchers. It's 120 calories, one and a half grams of fat and two grams of protein. And like I said, I like to use these for snack plates or if I have like tuna or chicken salad. Adam likes to pack them for work if I make him chicken salad. So it's just nice to have like a salty, crunchy option on hand. Okay, these are also four points for the serving. They are lesser evil and they are their space balls. We got the flavor interstellar cheddar. We do like the white cheddar ones, but I think I like these ones a little bit better. So they are vegan and gluten-free. For the serving of about 26 balls, it's four points, like I said, 130 calories, five grams of fat, 18 carbs, and two grams of protein. And this is just a salty snack. Honestly, my mouth is watering thinking about these right now because I've been craving them. And I was excited when we bought them. I want to eat them. I was about to crack them open at the store. But anyway, they just have a good salty cheesiness to them. And they kind of like melt in your mouth. So that's why I like them. And then the last thing that I got today, these Halo Top microwave like birthday cakes. So we tried these in a snack review and actually really liked them. We tried the strawberry ones too, but birthday cake we definitely like better. So it is a higher point dessert. It's seven points for one and I got us each our own. It's got 170 calories in one of them, five grams of fat, 35 carbs, one gram of fiber, eight grams of sugar, and five grams of protein. And all you do is add two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of water, mix it together and microwave for 60 seconds. And then it comes out and it's a little birthday cake. So I don't know, we just decided we wanted to have that as a dessert one night, so we each got one, but. Anyway, that wraps up everything that we got today at Walmart. Like I said, it wasn't too much, but kind of just some basic things that we needed to restock on, a lot of produce and just like meats and stuff. But I feel like we're set up for a good busy week. We'll have options available to us and quick and easy dinners that I can make, especially if I'm able to grill some turkey burgers or chicken burgers, whatever. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Adam actually ran outside, so he's not here anymore. So pretend his thumbs up is over there. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.